ITR Economics has been the worldwide leader in forecasts since 1948. For the last three decades, ITR Economics has been led by Brian and Alan Bolio. Under their guidance, ITR has grown into a trusted name in the industry and a voice of merit in uncertain times. Brian and Alan have assembled a core team of thought leaders and executives to support the business's initiatives and carry ITR Economics to new horizons. It's been a wild ride. I've seen us grow from 10 people to over 60 people. And roles that didn't exist are now very prominent pieces of what we do. We reach more people than we've ever reached before. To fast forward to, to now, and seeing this office, this studio, like I'm like, I can't believe it's the same company. I can think back to um, the Bosco in days where we'd roll up our sleeves and we would talk about what's going on, the fiscal cliff that happened. That was a big event. The purpose behind this leadership team was always so that ITR economics would be an enterprise. It wouldn't be a lifestyle business. It wouldn't die when I died, that it would go on and on and on. Years ago, Brian and I started planning you know, for, for this transition. And over the years, we've been slowly taking steps. And so we kept looking for the team that we thought would help us grow. And then we mentally shifted to the team that would help us be able to go. It's so exciting that it's working. That this team we put together is, I, I'm telling you, I could not have dreamed of a better team. Our focus is still what is important to our clients. Accuracy, unbiased outlook, and business-minded trusted advisors that are committed to the profits and health of our clients' businesses. So what's gonna happen when Brian and I go is that people will see that we're gone, but they won't see a change in ITR. I think they're going to quickly say, hey, I remember when their Brian and Alan were here and they'll share those memories. And in a few years, there'll be some team members say, I used to work with Brian and Alan. And then a few years after that, they're going, people are gonna go, who are Brian and Alan? <laughs> That'll be fine. They are 100% aligned with our core values. And I think to be here and to be successful and for this company to be successful, our core values matter a great deal. Um, the methodology, obviously, and how we forecast is terribly important because that's what our clients count on. But in terms of sustainability of the business, uh, those core values uh, and having an alignment with them really makes this whole place sustainable. It's, it's phenomenal. This team of leaders is positioned to not only maintain the core values of ITR economics, but to continue to innovate within our industry for the benefit of our existing clients and our new clients of the future. We don't do economic work for academics. We do it for businesses and that those impact the success of those businesses, the lives of the workers of those businesses, the economy at large, and so that, that's why I love it. The most important thing that sets us apart is that we're not afraid to go against the grain. We're always looking for the answer that is not the answer that somebody is looking for, but the real answer, the truth. We can really start from the numbers and say, okay, what is the data telling us is likely to happen? What do we understand about the world so that we can really tell our clients what to expect from that data-driven perspective. I've been studying your methodology for 16 years at this point. Uh, I know things within our methodology that Brian and Alan Bolio are the only two other people that know. There are pieces, therefore, that I can help train the team on so that we are more accurate in our forecasting. And it's not just about upping our 94.7 to a 95.2, it's ensuring that we get the direction right. We call the recessions correctly so that you're planning for the right business cycle at the right time. Confidence is, to me, is like um, respect. Uh, you don't just give it out. People have to earn it. And they've earned my confidence over the years that they've been here. And they're different disciplines. They've shown me that they really know their stuff. We are an organization that wants to get to know our clients. We want to understand their challenges. We want to understand their goals, their initiatives for the years ahead, and we want to help them achieve those, right? If we go in with that idea, that's how I feel comfortable doing what we do every single day. That's what makes me enjoy coming in. It's so important to have strategy when it comes to technology. It's easy to chase trends. It's easy to listen and hear what people are saying, but if you don't have a strategy behind it, it gets very costly. At ITR, we love to use traction. Uh, that's our focus. 
You know, what does our three year look like? What is our one year goals? And then let's bring it down to the 90 day rocks. So that way we know the entire company is on that same page. We have the best experts in every aspect of this business who will be leading us into the future. And I've worked alongside them for years and I trust them all. So that to me is very reassuring that we are in the best hands. Um, and everyone who's so dedicated to our industry, our services, our clients, our team, there's just no doubt that, you know, when our VP of sales and marketing says we're going to take over the world, we absolutely will. The future is, again, the same that it's always been. It's been us trying just to help people know that ITR is here. The methodology that we teach is right. It's accurate. It's going to give you the tools you need to be successful. We didn't know COVID was coming. That was a, a awful curveball that we had to adjust to on the fly. And um, we did. And they were part of that. And as, this sounds terrible to say out loud, but as horrible as COVID was, is perhaps one of the best things that could happen to them because they managed and led through a horrible circumstance. So now I know they've been through battle and having gone through battle, you're ready to stand shoulder to shoulder as you head into the next battle. And then we will have this generational transfer because I didn't start ITR, I had to learn it. But you know what was the cool thing is I took what I learned and with technology and time, I made the tools sharper, better. We could forecast out further into the future, see more than we could ever see before. And I have no doubt that this next team uh, is going to take it another step forward. Every person at ITR believes in our culture, believes in what we do. That's not going to change when Brian and Alan get off the road or someday in the future when they decide to retire. Who we are as people is always going to remain true and we are going to push for excellence. We are here to make a difference for our community. We're here to make a difference for our customers. We want to have, be impactful in their business decisions. We want to be those trusted advisors for those companies, and that's never going to change here at ITR.